left foot and you switch it, switch the play dramatically. It's, it's brilliant, it works very well. And here's the England free kick. Wilcox whipping it in. Ruddock was attacking it. Oh, and hissed off the underside of the bar by Sherwood. Tremendous effort by Tim Sherwood. It's a very good whip ball in, and it's caused a lot of problems. That they've defended it quite well, got out. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful clean strike. He couldn't hit it any better than that. The keeper's beaten there. Just wouldn't quite drop for McAteer. He'll get another chance, though, to put it in. Flicked on by McLaughlin. Scales got it away, but the Republic here just exerting a wee bit of pressure. Kenny Cunningham. And on the volley, David Kelly. Well, it was nicely struck. He just couldn't get his foot wrapped around the point. I think it was just slightly behind him. But a little bit of pressure by the Irish there. And David Kelly's found himself two or three yards spare in the box there. And I think he'd be surprised by how much room he got there. And three 1-1 one, one draws to follow. Yep, you said it. I think he's got the same. Sutton plays it inside here to Cole. Is this his chance? It is! The two strikers combined. And Cole, his first sniff of goal. And it's in. And England are one up. Andy Cole is the scorer. Typical Coley. One half chance and he buries in the back of that. He'd be delighted with that Coley because he hasn't been striking the back of that too often for Newcastle lately. He finds himself in a great position. He uses his strength here. And he might just the defender slip. But you don't know where he's going to put it there. He's got such good feet, he could put it near the corner and he smashes it in the back of the net. That'll give him a lot of confidence, that. I'm pleased from him. He's gone through the defender's legs. Townsend playing it back. Cole was in the vicinity and still is. Now Sherwood, who's got a great shot on him, as we've seen already, and Fox! Not so very far away, Rule Fox. I think Andy Cole would be a little bit disappointed if Rule Fox didn't hit it the other side of the goal. At the very least, if it didn't go in, he might not get the rebound, Coley. I think there's a bit of a sin to miss on that side of the goal from that angle. Fox would be disappointed with that. He said it not bad, but if he goes the other side, then there's always a chance of picking up the pieces. Oh, here's Kelly. And Whelan! Well, almost for a moment there, he was dreaming of a goal on his return to Anfield. I think David Kelly would have preferred when he gets the ball here there'd be somebody a little bit nearer. When he's came on the scene a little bit, he struck it well. Just drifting wide. But I think if somebody had been just there, a little bit closer in the box, it would have been an easier chance he maybe would have side foot instead of having to lash it. Sherwood playing the one-two with Wilcox. Oh, that's nice football. Cole, good look about this move. Wilcox trying to curl one. He did. He just tried to cut across it so it would bend into the far corner, but that was a great move by England. This is Kenner. Got it down and Coyne just beaten to it by Scales. It was a very important interception by Scales. That is great defending. Good concentration by John Scales. Well offside here. Just a fraction offside there, I think, Cole. But he does. He could have lost his concentration and I would have been in. With a great block on the ball. He slotted in very well, John Skills, since he came to Liverpool. And, uh, I think his partnership with, with Neil Ruddix proved a good one. The it's a great challenge. The Irish are going to make a couple of substitutions, we think, in a minute. But here's McLaughlin. That's one getting back well. Now Scales as England go in search of this second goal. Rule Fox, lovely turn by Cole. He did that so well, the turn was very, very quick and sharp. Foxley caused all the initial problems there by dropping off and coming into the space, and he's, he found himself in a lovely little hole. He's played a great ball into Coley, and he's, he's showed once again those quick feet. It's a good ball, and he's feeling the defender, possibly a little bit tight. He's just snatched at his shot slightly. Right. Yeah, problems. That's right, he seems to have matured very quickly. When it's, it's a big world, the, the Premiership, it's, it's a hard world, and if you make mistakes... Saturn. I didn't quite get enough power into that. That wall. Ten minutes remaining. It's rolled to Jason McAteer. Oh, he really got hold of it. And the shot from Coyne, the header from Coyne, beaten away. But what a first touch for David James. The first one with his hands, anyway. Yeah, there was too much sting in that shot. He's come through a, come through a few bodies. He's got a full sight of it. Yeah, this is where he acts very well. I mean, that's a great save. For a big man, he's so agile there. I think the 
think maybe Coyle will be a bit disappointed he didn't get a bit more height on his header. Definitely do not like pride, that's for sure. Redknapp, feeding it through to Fowler. And that's a splendid save by Brannigan. He wasn't done so well, didn't he? I think possibly Robbie Fowler, I feel he, he could have been more direct. His touch has possibly crossed him a, a little bit wider than he would like to have. That one there is just taking him away from the goal. Barnby helps it on well. Fowler, Barnby continues with his run, with the header. Oh, that would have been a tremendous goal. Nicky Barnby was so well found by Robbie Fowler. Tell you what, the under-21 boys who've come on in the last few minutes have pep things up a bit. Yeah, I've didn't link up well here. I didn't fancy Robbie Fowler on his right foot. He's had a quick look there, and all he's doing is just teasing it in. Inviting. He's half dragged the goalkeeper out. Nicky Barnby's unlucky there. It's a great little move by Tim Sherwood. I wonder what Jack Charlton will be thinking he won't like losing a game to Terry Venables. I haven't lost it yet either. So only 1-0, Barnby, good ball. Rule Fox. Nicely done, and Wilcox. Well, he tried to use the slide rule. And he goes done, wide. He's done it before, hasn't he? I fancy him there. I fancy him to finish it off. It's a great little move. Fox has shown all his pace. He's been direct, but now what he does, he shows his vision. I fancy him here. Let's little slot in the corner. He's unlucky. Beresford, Pacey runs still, and here's Barbie. And surely this time, Fowler blocked by Daesh, and somehow that Irish goal survives. Six minutes. barnby has been at the heart of quite a bit since he came on. Here he is again to Fox, and Fox, lovely ball. This time for Fowler. This time he scores. Robbie Fowler on his home ground. Well, what did we say? There's always a chance of goals when he comes on. And to be fair to him, he's looked very, very lively. He's had a couple of half chances before. On his weaker foot, is it his right foot? It's not a bad weak right foot. Lovely ball from Roe Fox, wasn't it? Again, showing his vision. Struck it well. Struck it very well. Well, it's the old law of averages, this. We said Andy Cole was due a goal. Three without one. Fowler, three without one. Mm -hmm. and Bob's your uncle. Right, the very last kick. The last kick of the game, and Robbie nice Fowler delivers. A nice way to finish the game, I think. So, Cole and Fowler giving Terry Venables some food for thought with the goals here. England playing some good football in patches. The Republic of Ireland, workmanlike, but lacking any real medicine up front, to be perfectly honest with you.